Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, Arturo. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. And you? I'm doing well, thanks. Great. Roberto, how are you? Fine, teacher. You? Pretty good, thanks. Excellent. Nice. Let's see, um, Jasmine. Jasmine, how is it going? Jasmine, check your microphone, please. Thank you, Ted. I'll go with you. Okay. Excellent. Thanks. Lorena, good evening. How are you? Yes, on time. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> Many things to do to be on time. Yeah, I can imagine. But it's it's very nice to have you here. I I think it's the same. Thanks. Okay, so let's see. Um, well, did you all finish with the course in the platform and everything? You got it. Yes, teacher. Yes. Roberto, yes, are you done? With yes, the course? Okay. I'm nice. done. Great. And how about the diploma? Did you all get it? Yes. Okay. I made it. Good. hasn't been fixed. All right, I'm going to ask him tomorrow, okay? All right, so um, do you have any questions or any doubts about what we are studying or, well, any of the processes maybe? Sobre el diploma que aparecía en dos páginas, pero yeah. no me contestó. You got no answer. Okay, um, so let me ask him tomorrow. Yo mañana voy a recordarle entonces a Jonathan. No sé si todos tienen el mismo problema. Quiero ver, eh, Lorena, Jasmine, está en, con ese problema. Arturo, no sé cómo estamos. Me too. Me and... too. También me salen dos partes. Ok, so Arturo. Yo quise hacer lo que hizo eh, Néstor de los eh, márgenes, pero no me da la opción en mi computadora. Sí, es que me parece que el, el diploma viene en PDF, entonces es un poco difícil. No sé si será tal vez algún programa distinto para mover eso o algo, pero creo que en la mayoría de versiones no se podría. ¿Qué lo ve? No. La pantalla se ve completo, pero cuando ya uno le da descargar, ya están las dos páginas. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Sí, yo mañana voy a decirle entonces a los coordinadores para que puedan revisar esto y espero pues que, que ya mañana o a más tardar el lunes pudiéramos resolver. I don't know yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. We are going to find each other in some other course, but I don't know yet. So we must wait. <laughs> okay, so Carla, um, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, every one, verdad? Yes, everyone or everybody? Everybody. How are you, Carla? Uh, I'm fine, teacher. I'm fine. It, they, thanks God, it's Friday. <laughs> yes, right. <laughs> and we are finishing with the course today, so it's nice. No, uh -huh. it's, 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 it's bad. It's bad. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> no, I miss you, teacher. I going, miss you. Oh, thank you. Me too. So it's good news because oh, you're moving you. to the pre-intermediate level, right? So you're going to a level yeah. up. That's nice. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, I miss you. I miss you in the night, in the class. Yeah. So maybe in another in another level we could find each other. I don't know. Realmente no sé cómo los asignan, pero okay. probablemente de repente nos encontremos por ahí en otro nivel. So, yeah, I hope so. Gracias, gracias por la por la paciencia y por por el por enseñarnos. Gracias. De verdad, muchas gracias. Oh, it's my pleasure. <laughs> With that. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate your words. And you were nice students too. Very great. I really like that you are very interested in learning. You do a lot with uh, the work in the platform. And well, I know it's tiring to work the whole day, then come to the class. So I really admire you for that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, teacher. All right, so I think we may start with the last class, right? Yes. Okay, let me just get my presentation. Okay, so we are going to start by reviewing um, the topic that we studied last class. So it was wasn't where and the negative form wasn't weren't. And also we studied how to make questions, right? How do we make questions? What do we do? We use was or were at the beginning. Mm -hmm. And then the verb, uh, we said uh, all the, the sentence and then we use question mark. That's right. Excellent. So remember that you change the order of the sentence, right? Normally we start with the subject when we make affirmative and negative sentences. But in the case of questions, as Lorena said, we start with was or were. So let's practice a little bit. Here I have some words for you to make sentences in the affirmative and negative form and also questions. So it goes like, um, she was hungry. She wasn't thirsty. Was she tired? So you make an affirmative sentence with this word, a negative with this one, and a question using this word. So here I have another one. Arturo, can you give it a try? Um, it was it was raining, but it, it wasn't sunny. Okay, and the question? Um, was, what's a cold? Was it cold? Very good. Arturo, thank you. Jasmine, next one is for you. Your microphone, Jasmine. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Escuchen. Yes. Okay. My mom. Mm -hmm. My mom. Was um, or were? My mom was uh, in, in the, the bedroom. In the bedroom. Mm -hmm. In the bedroom. My mom. Uh, Was uh, wasn't in the living room. Yes. And my mom was in the kitchen. All right. Very nice, Jasmine. Lorena, next one is for you. Okay. Johnny was in Mexico. Johnny wasn't in Brazil. 
um, was Johnny in Australia? Excellent. And just for reviewing pronunciation, mm -hmm. this one is Mexico, Mexico. Then we have Mexico. Brazil, Brazil, repeat please. Brazil. 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 And next one is Australia. Australia. Like an O, Australia. Okay. Australia. 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 Very good. Okay, next one is for Roberto. Roberto, it's your turn to make sentences and questions. The, the man uh, was tall. Um, was very um, tall first. Roberto? Very tall. Uh, very long. Okay. The man was very tall. The, the man was, was, uh, wasn't short. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, was the, was the, the man and uh, John. Excellent. Thank you, Roberto. Laura, you. next one is for you. The car was in the street. Okay, just it's the cars. It's in the, uh, the cars. It was or were? The cars were mm -hmm. in the street. Okay. It was. In the negative? They they were in the garage. Yes. Were the cars in my house? Excellent, Laura. Thank you. So just um, here we say on the street. Okay, the cars were on the streets, and okay. in these cases we use in the in the garage in my house. Okay. Okay. All right. So the next one is for Carla. We were. Ill. Yes. We were weren't very well. Were we worried? Worried. Thank you, Carla. We Thank say you, um, worried. Okay. The pronunciation worried. Okay, and the last one is for Anarut. Cervantes was writing. A writer? A writer. Mm -hmm. um, he wasn't a singer. Was Cervantes a musician? All right, excellent. So now we know how to use the past of be in the different forms, right? The affirmative, negative, and the interrogative. Uh, let's see, we are going to review a little bit about the large numbers, how to say large numbers. Last time we mentioned a little bit, but let's just keep on practicing. So first of all, let's review the numbers uh, from 10 to 100. So we have 10 and 20, count 20. with me please. 20, 20, 20, 20. 30, 30, 30. 30. 30, 40, 40, 40, 50, 50, 50, 60, 60, 70, 70, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80 90, 90, 90, 100, 100, 100. Okay, and after the 100, another number that we should keep in mind is 1,000. 1,000. 1,000. And then you already know the numbers from 1 to 20, right? Like 1, 2, 3, then 11, 12, 13, and so on. And then remember that from 20 on, we repeat them, right? We go like 21, 22 until we get to 29, then the same for 30, 35, 36, and 47, 61, 88, and so on, right? And um, here in the case of the hundreds, 
we change the number, the first number. So if we had this number, it would be 200, right? 200, 300, 400, 600, and 800, and just whatever number you want to make. And then when we get to the thousands, it's the same. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 10,000, and so on. All right, so now that we have reviewed the numbers, Let's see the options that we have in order to say large numbers as in dates. So the first option we have is to divide the numbers into numbers of two digits. So we have four numbers. We just take numbers of two digits. We divide it into two. The other option is the long one. It would be mentioning the thousands, then the hundreds, and at last the tens. And another thing to remember is that when a number ends in 01 to 09, we pronounce the zero as O. Otra forma de llamar el cero sería O. En el caso de las fechas o de los años, cuando tenemos uno que termina en 01 hasta el 09, utilizamos el O. Ese cero lo llamamos O. O1, O2, O3. 04, 05, until we get to 09. Here I have some examples. So we have the first date. It could be 1987. We divide the numbers into other numbers of two digits, right? 19, 19. then 19. 87. 87. 87. And the long way would be, can you help me to read it, please? 1,987. Exactly. Thanks. Next example is, help me to read. 1,694. Or 1,649. 94. Thanks. And the last one, it says 1905. Or 1,905. So you see here we have 05, 1905. Ese cero que encuentra ahí lo vamos a pronunciar como O. 1905. Okay. So let's give it a try with some other dates. How about this date? How do you say it? Seventeen sixty-five. Seventeen sixty-five. Okay. And the long answer or the long way to say it would be one thousand seven hundred sixty-five. Excellent. One thousand seven hundred sixty-five or seventeen sixty-five. Another one. Let's see. Let's make another one. Okay. Jasmine, give it a try, please. No, no, no. Yes, when? Hmm? Oh, eight. Exactly, 2008. And, um, it would be 2000. 2000. 2000. Okay. 2008. Exactly. It goes like 2008 or 2008. Okay. okay. Now I have this one. Noemi, give it a try, please. Oh, sería one thousand Exactly. And the other way would be? 
Nineteen of ninety-seven. Yes, remember we only say O when we have a zero. La O es solamente cuando tiene un cero al final, eh, un cero y un número, por ejemplo, del cero uno al cero nueve. So that would be okay. O one, O two, O three, O nine, okay? Okay. All right. Very good, Noemi. Thank you. And let's see now, let's continue by answering the following question. Where were you born? Where were you born? Oh, when, sorry. When were you born? So we're asking about the date or the year when you were born. So we have, I was born in 1993. I was born in 1993. So let's see, how about Lorena? Lorena, when were you born? I was born in... 1972. Okay, very good. Carla, when were you born? Um, I was born in 1987. All right. Laura, it's your turn. When were you born? I was born in 1990. Okay. Great. Arturo, when were you born? I was born in 1984. Okay. Mauricio, when were you born? In 1982. Okay. Ana Ruth, when were you born? I was born in 1986. All right. Excellent. So here, I have a second option. It is to mention the complete date, right? So remember, when we use in, we only mention either the date, I, I mean, either the month or the, or the, oh, se me escapó. El, podemos mencionar el mes o el año, either the month or the year, okay? So you could say, I was born in November, I was born in 1993. And then when you use on, you say the complete date. I was born on November 17th, 1993. Or I was born on September the 30th, um, 2003. Okay, just remember that detail. We use in for mentioning the month or the year. And we use on to mention the whole date. So now let's get to today's lesson objective. So by the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer WH questions with did, was, and where. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. So let's just listen to the conversation. Let me just get it. Okay, so I need you to pay attention to the conversation. And if you have any questions or any doubts about the vocabulary or the pronunciation, let me know at the end. So Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990, I went to college here. Oh. What was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. And I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh... Okay. 
So do you have any questions about any of the words in the conversation? Maybe not. No sé si no sé si todos la escucharon, pero yo a la mitad ya no la escuché, teacher. Oh, really? No, no se escuchó nada. Si todos la escucharon. El mismo yeah, caso, no, teacher. Okay. All right. Yeah, so let's try. I say the same. So Chuck, can you hear it now? No. 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 Okay. Let's see. Let's get it again. Let's get started by listening to. Yes, that's okay. All right, so let's listen again. To a conversation title, Where Did You Grow Up? Let's listen and practice. So, Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there, too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. And I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh... Okay. So now you could listen to it, right? Yeah. All right. Right. So do you have any doubts about any of the vocabulary you see here? What is that mean? Major. Mayor would be major. like a career. For example, in my case, my major was English. So that is what you study at the university. Okay. Any other question? No? Okay, then college mm -hmm. is a synonym to university, right? Okay, so now I need two volunteers to read the conversation. Let's see. Okay, me. All right, Arturo and? Me too, teacher. Jasmine. All right, you start, Jasmine. Okay. So, so, where did you grow, where, where I grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In, in 1990, I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's, that's interesting. interesting. So why did you become a high stylist? Because I need the money. And I love it. Look. What do you think, Arturo? What do you think? Well, um... <laughs> okay. Thank you, guys. Don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. She's not convinced. <laughs> All right. So I need you to repeat, please. Grow up. Grow, Grow up. up. Grow up. Grow up. Grow up. Grow up. Grow up. Grow up. So in the present, grow up. it's grow up. In the past, grow up. Grow up. Okay, now say Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. College. College. Mayor. 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 Grandma. Drama. 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 Interesting. 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 Um, you just pronounce it. Hair as you say it. Hair So it's something like this. Interesting, okay? Interesting. Esa es de ahí. Después de la R no se pronuncia. Interesting. 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 Okay, and you were asking me about hair stylist. Hair stylist. Yes. yes. Hair stylist. Hair stylist. Hair stylist. Okay. Hair stylist. 
Also remember this one is needed. 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 Okay, I think that's pretty much it. So now let's listen to the rest of the video and um, pay attention to the questions and to the answers, please. Now, let's analyze how to form questions with did, was, and where. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. How old were you in 1990? I was 18. What was your major in college? It was drama. How was college? It was great. I would like to point out that the key to understanding this topic is to not get confused with the following question. When do I use did and when do I use was or where? You must remember the following. You will use was or where whenever you need to ask something related to the verb be. And you will use did for all the rest of the verbs in English. Now, okay, so what Mr. Science mentions in the video is very important, right? So here we have two different kinds of questions. The questions that go with did and the other questions that go with was or were. So when we use each of them, right? So remember that was and where is for the verb be. So whenever you need to make a question using the verb be in the past, use was or were. And if in other case, you have to use a different action, a different verb, well, use the auxiliary did. Recuérdese que el was y were es solamente para las ocasiones en que necesitamos el verb be, que sería ser o estar. Cuando necesito decir estuve, fui, Right? Estuvimos, fuimos. So in those cases, you use was or were. And for the other verbs, you have did. Okay, so now let's talk about the question structure. I would like to start by reviewing the WH question words. So first we have what. We use what to ask about things. Like, what were you doing last night? What were you doing? I was watching TV. Where is to ask about places. For example, where did you buy those shoes? Where did you buy those shoes? I bought them at Mario shop, right? So you mentioned a place. Then we have when. When is for asking about time. Like when did you come or when did you arrive? I arrived on Monday, for instance. Then we have who. It is for asking about people. Who did you see in your trip? Who did you see in your trip? I saw my best friend. Next one is why. Why is for asking about reason. So why did you get all of that food? Because I'm going to have a party, for instance. And then we have how. How is to ask about manner, the way in which you do something, right? And this one, we use it together with some different words, like in the combination, how old, that is for asking about age. How old were you in the year 2005? Then we have how much and how many. How much water did you drink yesterday? How many apples did you buy? And we have how long, which refers to time. Like how long did you wait? Cuánto tiempo esperaste? How long did you wait? Say how long, normalmente se refiere a tiempo. 
Okay, so now let's review the question's structure. So first of all, we need a WH word. Then we add the verb, the auxiliary verb did. After that, we need a subject, then the verb, and then the complement and the question mark. For example, in this question, what did you buy at the mall? What did you buy at the mall? What could be an answer for this? Any ideas? Both. I bought. Both. I bought. Both. I bought. Both. A shoes. A pair of shoes. A pair of shoes. Yes. Pair of shoes. Um, yes. In English, al igual que en español, las cosas que vienen en pares se llaman a pair of, a pair of shoes, a pair of earrings. Okay. 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 All right. So another question we have is, who did you visit last night? Tell me a possible answer, please. Who did it visit last night? I visited my parents. I visited my parents. This okay. Okay. Yes. Okay, then we have, when did you go to the supermarket? When? When did you go? I went on Saturday. I went to the supermarket. I... On Saturday or I last Saturday. Saturday. Okay, so that would be the way to ask and answer questions using WH words and using did. But now let's see how to use was and were. Well, first of all, we start with the WH word once again. Then we need was or were, then the subject, and then the complement. So here you only need the verb was or were, any of those. Here you use the auxiliary did and the main verb, but here only was or were. For example, when we say, where were you born? Where were you born? And the answer could be? I was, I was, I was, I was born in El Salvador. I was born in El Salvador. Another example is how old were you in 1995? I, uh, I have I was 11 years. Years. I, I was. was 11 years old. Just remember, for talking about age, we use the verb be, okay? So I am 27 years old. I am 10 years old. And in the past, was, right? I was 10 years old. I was two years old. Just use was. No utilizamos have, utilizamos el verb be. Was. All right, so okay. the other question we have is, how was the party? What could be the answer to that? My oh, sister yeah. and my boyfriend was. It's how, it how was the party? How was the party? The party was, uh, how? Party was, fun. It was, the party was funny. Funny. Party was fun. Fun. Okay. You could also say the party was fantastic. The party was um, boring. Okay. We have different options. The party was wonderful. Okay. So well, let's just skip that and let's move to this exercise. We're going to make WH questions with this information. So here you see we have the sentence, they wanted to see Fiona. They wanted to see Fiona. And the word Fiona is highlighted because we need to make a question 
that we would answer with this word. Vamos a hacer una pregunta donde la respuesta sea yes, sí o no. So how would that be? Do you know, Fiona? I, um, but you I, have to use no. the same information we have here in the sentence. They wanted to see Fiona. Who, who you want? Okay. Who, oh. who they want it? It to see. Who did they? Who did they want to see Fiona? Exactly. Who did they want to see? They wanted oh. to see. Fiona, right? Fiona. Fiona. That would be the answer. Who did they want to see? They wanted to see Fiona. ¿A quién querían ver? Ellos querían ver a Fiona. Fiona. Okay. So another did, one. Did. What did Mary Fiona? Um, no, can you repeat that? Mm -hmm. Perdón. It's okay. Why, creo que es, why did Mary Fiona? ¿Es why así? You... ¿Quién se casó Fiona? Oh, who? Oh, creo que me confundí. Mm -hmm. Ok, but don't worry. Sí, no, no se preocupe. Vamos a yeah. hacer oraciones entonces para preguntar eh, sobre la información que está marcada. Por ejemplo, acá utilizo who porque estoy preguntando por Fiona. Una persona, right? Who? Fiona. Who did they want to see? They wanted to see Fiona. Now let's give it a try with the second um, the second sentence. We have, I got up at seven o'clock. When, when, when you get up. When or what time? When, when did what time? Yes, in this case, when, we say what time. I what think time when. Did you what get up. time did you get up. get up? What time did you get up? I got up at wow. seven o'clock. Okay. Okay. Next one is she paid $10. How much did she pay? How much did she pay? She paid. How much? Mm -hmm. How much is it. the cost? How much did it cost? Yes. And then the answer we have, she paid $10, right? $10. Number four says the meeting finished late. What time? What time did this minute finish? Made it finish? The meeting finish. Exactly. What time did the meeting finish? It finished late. Finished Next late. one is I ate an apple pie. What did you eat? Exactly. What did you eat? I ate an apple pie. An apple. Number six, I played tennis last week. How do you play? Mm, how? Are you sure about that? We're asking for last week. So that would be when, 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 right? When, 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 Where did um check this? We are asking for Ellen. That's a person. I see. Who? 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 Who
Did. Did. Who. Did. did go to the party. Go to the. Right. right. To. Right. To. Who did, did they write they to? Write to. In this case, we use the to because it would be a quien le escribieron, ¿verdad? A quien. Entonces mm -hmm. usamos el to. Who did they write to? They wrote to Ellen. Next one says, the class was very interesting. How? How? How is the class? Why? But in the past? How was? How was the class? The class. Uh, how was? Hmm? How was the class? The class was very interesting. Number nine, I was late because I had an accident. Why were you late? Why were you late? Exactly. I was, I was late, late because, because I had an accident. And always remember that were. whenever we have no, a but... question with why, we answer using because. Esos dos siempre van juntos, podríamos decir. El why para la pregunta, el because para la respuesta. And the next one is the kids were at the candy store. What would be the question? What did you play? We're talking about a place at the candy where? store. Where? 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 The kids. The kids. Where were the where kids? The kids. At the candy store. The kids were at the candy store. Okay, so that's how we use the WH questions, right? So let's see, we have a couple of minutes. So let me, let me just send you to the breakout rooms so you have some time to talk about these questions, to answer them. So I want you to ask your classmates these questions. How was your day? What did you do today? Who did you see yesterday? And all the others. Just remember your answer should be in the past, right? How was your day? It was wonderful. It wasn't good. And what did you do today? Well, I woke up early in the morning. I went to work and so on. Remember to talk in the past. So let's see, there we are. I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms now and I'm going to send a picture to the, to the chat again. So you have the questions. Okay. Hola. Yes, I'm just sending it. It's loading. Uh, <laughs> thanks, teacher. Okay. Yes, my internet is so slow today. Yes, right. Maybe no, it's the weather. Yes. Okay. Maybe. Okay, I think now you have it. Okay, thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, the first is how was how was your day? I was a wonderful what? day. What did you do today? No. Mm -hmm. 
Hello. Me acabo de meter a la... Sorry. Do you listen me? Do you listen to me? Hola. Yes. Yes. Hi. Bueno, escucho. What did Hello. you today? Hello. Hi, Laura. What did? Mauricio le va a preguntar a usted primero si ya me confundo. You do today. Hello. Sí, um. Do you repeat Okay, is the number one is who they who was your day? Uh, the answer is I uh, was a wonderful day. Right? Uh, Mauricio, you say how? How was your day? Okay. How, how was your day? I yes. The answer is correct. And the answer should I be was, it. It was. Porque está hablando de su was. día, no está hablando de usted mismo, sino que de su día. De me. De su día. Ah, so okay. it Thanks, was. Mm -hmm. It was. It was a wonderful day. Yes, okay. that's fine. The second question. Okay. Second what question did you so? do today? Okay. I I worked today. I. Entonces sería I did read. I did emails. read emails. Yeah. Y en la siguiente. Who did you see yesterday? ¿A quién viste tú en la tarde? Entonces, en la respuesta sería oh my. I was I was see oh I did I did But, see my I father. In that case, you say I saw my parents. Ah, I saw my, my las, parents. En las eh, oraciones afirmativas utilizamos el verbo en pasado. No usamos auxiliares. Uh -huh. Solo uh -huh. usamos auxiliar didn't o did en las negativas y en las preguntas. Ok, thank you, teacher. No tiene idea okay. cómo me ha costado controlar eso en la plataforma. Oh, yeah, I understand it. It's kind of confusing. Siempre caigo en ese mismo error. Yeah, it's kind of confusing. Uh, sí, but siempre me pasa. Don't worry, just keep on practicing. Con la práctica va a ir mejorando en ese aspecto. Sí. Y la siguiente. What did you do last weekend? Bueno, entonces, um, eh, la tercera sería, dijimos... Uh, I, wa I was. I did saw my parents. I did. I saw. I saw. I saw. I see, see. Wilfo, no puede ser, perdón. Sorry. No no, I tranquila. saw <laughs> my parents. No. Okay, well. Siguiente. Yeah. Well, the, the, the lunch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you have... Yes. Is, is you the have... answer correct? I I was din I was for calentation the lunch for my dinner. <laughs> uh, well, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, teacher. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Okay. No sabía que estaba la teacher aquí. Yo estoy hablando. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this okay. Is a <laughs> Don't worry, this is a practice. Yeah, that's and, right. And, and mm -hmm. number nine, and what did you do last night, last Christmas? I was my. I was. I want. No, sería I won. I was. I was. I, I visit. was visit, visit my parent oh, and dinner with with family. 
Okay, you say okay. I visited my parents and I had dinner. I, I visited. I visited my parents and with dinner. And we yes, had dinner. dinner. We had dinner. We uh, tuvimos la cena, verdad? Yeah, we we had. had dinner. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. Uh, Jose Arturo, uh, I question for you, number 10. What did you do on your last birthday? No. Okay. When is your birthday? It's on, on May. On May 13th. <laughs> No puedo decirlo. O May 13th. Ok. What did I do on my last birthday? When we ate for your campero. And, and cake. And a piece of cake, too. Yeah. Now we have to write them. We have to write the question. Okay. So let me hear some of the answers. Let's see, Lorena, how was your day? Um, take your microphone, please. Yeah. How was my day? Today in the morning, I went to... Um, to choose something in the near Mercado Mercado La Tendona. Okay. And then I come back home and I do many things. Okay, <gasps> so it was a busy day. Always. <laughs> yeah, right. All right, very good. Yeah. Let's see, Arturo, what did you do today? Arturo, check your microphone, please. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, I went to um, I went to the market. Okay. That was it. And Any other thing, Arturo? Oh, and 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 night. I was, and I was very busy day. Okay, you had a busy day. All right, Jasmine, who did you see yesterday? I. So to my pet and my sister, I saw um, my mother. Okay. Also, I saw my house. Very good. So house. Okay. Now, Mauricio, what did you do last weekend? The last weekend, mm -hmm. did it just do last week? I I went to the I went uh, I went to the uh, I went to the cinema and I pay and I buy it uh, ice cream okay. bought uh, ice cream very and, nice. 
and stay in, in home. Okay. Yeah. Pretty good. All right. So now let me just take a couple of minutes in order to review the directions for the for the test, the final test. I know many of you have done it, but let's just for the ones that haven't done it, let's just review them, the directions for doing it. So first of all, it has six different sections. Let me get to section A. So section A is listening. You have to listen to Helen and Mark's conversations and select the best answer to the questions. So here's the audio, you play it. And remember the same recommendation I gave you for the midterm test, you should only listen three times the most. So it would be wonderful if you do it just with two times of listening, okay? But if you need to listen three times or even more, it's fine, just keep on practicing. And then you listen, you have to answer some questions. Here you have, for example, where are Helen and Mark going? And you have three options. You select the one that you hear in the audio. And the same, we have four questions. Then in section B, you have to complete the sentences. You look at the map to complete the sentences. And here you have the sentence, the department store is, and then Main Street. And you have some different prepositions, across from, on, between, next to, on the corner of. You just select the one that is correct for the places you are asked about. Section C is select the best answer. So there you have some questions like where your parents born in the US. And you have different options. You should choose the one that answers this question in a logical way. And let's see, uh, well, section D is match the verbs to the nouns. So here you have, for example, the verb had. And you have some options to combine it. It has um, photos, a picnic, tennis, a play and swimming. You select the one that goes with had. Then in section E, we complete the conversations. So we should select the correct form of the verbs to complete the sentences. Here you have a good weekend and the options would be, did you had, did you have, or you had. Depending on if you are um, making a question a uh, sentence in the affirmative or negative, you choose the right option. And the last part is a reading exercise. There you read the article and complete the sentences. So once again, remember that you don't have to understand each of the words you read or you don't have to translate it. You just have to get the information you are asked about. And that would be it. So I know that most of you have completed it. But just in case you have not done it, well, now it's time to do it. Remember we have um, until last night, until midnight to complete the exercises if we have not done so, okay? All right, so that will be all on my behalf. Thank you very much for being great students. It was really nice to have this course with you and I hope to see you soon. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, thank you teacher. Thank you, thank you, thank you, great teaching. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Have a good night. Thank, thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And congratulations. You are now in pre-intermediate. Very well. Gracias por la paciencia. See you next level. Yeah, hopefully, right? <laughs> Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye -bye. Good night.